Hey, Ryan Michael Galloway here with We Don't Need No Stinking Record And uh, you got a blog, by the way. You know, people are interested in you. After all, you're a star. You're going to be a star, right? And they kind of like to know what's going on. But what do you put in a blog? And how do you do a blog? Well, there's all kinds of places. A, a real easy one would be go out to uh, www.blogger.com and set up a, an account. And you can kind of pick the look, and uh, you hit a couple of buttons, and boom, you're in business. You can write a blog. Um, or if you wanted to do something more video-oriented, maybe you could post a video blog on YouTube. Um, first of all, play to whatever your strengths are. If you can't write, then don't write, unless you can maybe get a friend or a partner to write for you. Me, I can write, and I can write well. But I write really, um, I, I work pretty meticulously when I write because I'm an author and so I write and I rewrite and I rewrite and I rewrite and blogs aren't that way. Blogs are just dash something off and maybe they'll have misspellings in it, who knows. Um, on the other hand, I have uh, Asperger syndrome which is on the, um, the uh, autism spectrum and one other things about a, uh, somebody who has Asperger syndrome and they're an adult is they can't shut up. I can't take any cues because I don't see them from people and so I just keep talking even if maybe they're not interested anymore. So camera's perfect, there are no cues and I just kind of chuck things up into good subjects and I'm playing to my strengths. I can't shut up and so it, this is perfect for me. Uh, maybe a, uh, um, a, what is it called? a podcast would be another great one but I like the visual aspect of this too because it at least makes you feel like I'm speaking directly to you. So that's what I go with. Whatever it is, go, to, go with your strengths. Secondly, make sure it's stuff that we would care about, about you as a star. Now, I know when you read People Magazine and you read uh, oh, uh, Us Magazine and stuff like that, they're going into some really personal stuff about the stars. But what we really want to know about you is when and where you're playing and uh, how excited you are about playing tonight or tomorrow night or the next night. And gee, if you're going to use, say, Twitter and microblog in a you know, very short number of characters, uh, great. Give us links so we can see you play or hear you play or, or use it to uh, alert us to the next gig. Or um, if you've got something exciting going on with uh, going into the studio or a song you're working on or give us a little sample of something or you've got something free you're giving away, cool. We really don't care that you've got to wash your cat today. We really don't care that you had Cheerios for breakfast. And we really, really don't care about the guy or the gal you dated last night. So anyway, a uh, little advice about blogs. Do get one though. It's just another way to connect with your, um, your following. Now I've got somebody who's been recently posting. It seems to be very much old school. says, you know, the way you get a following, you know, all you do is you go out there and you play really, really well. Well, I've known a lot of people who have played really, really well, put on great shows, and uh, got some word of mouth and that kind of thing. But if they didn't have a way to collect their list of following together and keep them informed and, and keep them aware of when and where they were gigging and about their releases and stuff like that, nobody would show up if you were completely reliant on your venues to advertise and get the word out to your fans. It may or may not happen. Uh, this person might be in a tight enough community that they can do that, and that's really cool. So I'm not putting them down or anything. I'm just saying I am teaching a more holistic approach. Live playing, absolutely got to do it. It's very important that you be the best you can be live, and I agree with them on that. Um, but to shun the Internet aspect of what you're uh, uh, doing to market yourself, I think, is a mistake. Keep it in there, and a blog is certainly a great component. But make it pertinent, okay? I'm Ryan. Michael Galloway, and I'm at we don't need no stinking record company.com.